Hi and welcome back to your MES e-lesson. I'm Natalie. By now, you should be able to answer questions negatively with be past plus adjective fluently. Let's test your progress. There will be 10 questions in total. You will have a few seconds to answer each question. For example, were you happy enough with the contract to shake on it? Then answer me like this. No, I wasn't happy enough with the contract to shake on it. Are you ready for your test? Good, let's get started. Number one. Was Ewan anxious to tell his wife that he'd lost a ton at the casino? No, he wasn't anxious to tell his wife that he'd lost a ton at the casino. Number two. Were you pumped to sit down and have a talk with the big guy about your performance? No, I wasn't pumped to sit down and have a talk with the big guy about my performance. Number three. Was Nora trustworthy enough to keep a secret? No, she wasn't trustworthy enough to keep a secret. Number four. Was Jason really picky when it came to foreign food? No, he wasn't really picky when it came to foreign food. Number five. Were you able to get at those reports today? No, I wasn't able to get at those reports today. Number six. Were you worried about your weight before you had to squeeze into your favourite jeans from high school? No, I wasn't worried about my weight before I had to squeeze into my favourite jeans from high school. Number seven. Were you asleep at the wheel when you smashed into that tree? No, I wasn't asleep at the wheel when I smashed into that tree. Number eight. Were you entirely coherent after your fourth beer last night? No, I wasn't entirely coherent after my fourth beer last night. Number nine. Were you sure how to break the news to your brother that you couldn't hire him? No, I wasn't sure how to break the news to my brother that I couldn't hire him. Number 10. 
Was Barb stereotyped as a bimbo just because she had blonde hair? No, she wasn't stereotyped as a bimbo just because she had blonde hair. So, how did you do? Did you get all 10 correct? If not, no problem. Allowing yourself to make mistakes is an important part of the learning process. Remember, it's about working at your own pace and speaking fluently. So just go back to video B and keep on practicing until you can say all 10 answers quickly and fluently. If you got all 10 correct, well done. Now it's time for you to move on to your next e-lesson. I'm Natalie, see you soon.